I failed. I failed to fix the battery. Here I have a fully functional DJI Run M battery that turns on and supplies the power to the gimbal. I can charge it, no problem. But on the other side, I have this uh, problem here. This battery, although opened now, for the first time I could plug in the charger and there was no response at all. I guess that the battery was over discharged and I was right. With a lot of patience I managed to open up the case. I managed to see this little PCB board that has these two microprocessors on the bottom side and two MOSFET chips on the upside, on, on, uh, on the front. One of the MOSFET uh, chips uh, is close to the battery plus terminal which I'm guessing it's uh, uh, for charging the battery, for the control charge of the battery and the other chip is close to the power terminal which I'm guessing is uh, to uh, control the power to the gimbal. And the next thing I did is measure the battery voltage. It was only 7 volts for the whole battery meaning that was well below its over discharge threshold. On uh, my hand uh, now it is set uh, if you attempt to boost and boost charge the battery and revive the battery as yes, I did, please be careful with the boosting charging process. Always do measure the current from the charger that is going from the charger to the battery and the battery voltage on intervals. You can't measure that while charging but you can measure it on intervals. Uh, although my multimeter connected to the charging uh, terminal directly to the battery plus, I measured somewhere uh, about 2.7 amps, which is quite normal for charging of this size of battery without any protections whatsoever. On the intervals, I measured the voltage, the battery voltage, and uh, the, it took to be about 15.5 volts. Uh, when the battery came back to life so it was well over 30 minutes of charge it turned out one dot and then one and a half and one and two dots or something like that when the battery showed about two dots uh, of charge it i could uh, well turn on and turn off the battery but still when i plug it the plug the charger the battery indicator shows a loading animation for a few times and then just blinks forever you can hear the charger buzzing, uh, which means it's not supplying any current to the battery. Um, so I thought, well, leave the charging alone for now. Let's turn on the gimbal and update the firmware maybe on the battery. But no, you can't do that. The battery turns on, but without any voltage supply on the power on the power terminal, you cannot power the gimbal. And these uh, surprisingly and surprisingly not because the gimbal is well DJI from China uh, these batteries here the cells are just ordinary 3.6 volt uh, battery cells uh, that you can buy from eBay really these cells are probably not damaged and uh, it but it could be the microcontroller that is thinking that the battery is already damaged uh, because of the discharge and won't want to turn on the MOSFET to supply the power if you look at the MOSFET data sheet, we're gonna see that it's an ordinary 30 volt uh, MOSFET. And the gate pin uh, is uh, the pin 4 of the chip. When I turn on the battery and measure the gate pin, uh, there's no voltage. Which means that the MOSFET is probably still alright. But the connection between the MOSFET and the microprocessor is maybe gone at that point. There is a convenient reset pin on the microprocessor and I have been playing around uh, trying to reset from there but no luck. Even if I uh, reset the mi if even after I reset the microprocessor is the same story, it's not charging. There were two more things to do. One is to desolder the battery as a whole everything from the microprocessor and if the microprocessor is keeping that information about the battery in its RAM it would mean a reset they, they, he, uh, he wouldn't have any voltage to sustain that information but yet if the engineers were clever enough the battery information would be put in the E-square prom 
and won't disappear even if the battery has been disconnected from the microprocessor. And the last thing to do is uh, to plug the battery on the run and M, uh, connect the battery terminal directly, directly to the power terminal, bypassing the MOSFETs in between and delivering the current to the gimbal. After the gimbal has turned on, the last thing that's left is to try to update the firmware of the battery, thus hopefully resetting it to normal, as you have seen probably in many other uh, tutorials on YouTube. Of course, I wouldn't do that at all. I won't be wanting to risk a $1,000 gimbal for a $100 battery. And you can probably uh, guess right now that the battery is real dead for this time. That, that, that. While this is soldering the battery plus terminal, uh, it touched the microprocessor, frying it up completely and making the, uh, making the PCB useless. However, you can still reuse the cells and build your own 16 volt power bank for another use. So my advice to you is uh, to send it to DJI if you can, or if you can't, uh, tear down the faulty battery. Uh, try carefully boosting it up, uh, reset if you can. And if it, uh, uh, if you can't restore it fully to work with the Ronin, uh, reuse the cells for another purpose. I've already ordered a, ba a battery management module uh, for four cells in series. Uh, at least I'm gonna make some of the money back, 40 bucks or something. I hope DJI uh, actually does something about uh, their intelligent batteries, uh, maybe change some for, uh, something in the firmware. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope I helped a little bit understanding the battery. Thanks for watching. See you.